Welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to show you how you can set up an Apache Tomcat server running on Windows Server 2019 hosted on Amazon Web Services. So simply click the link in the description box to come to this marketplace listing for Amazon and from here you want to create a new EC2 virtual machine with this particular image. Now this image comes with pre-installed Apache Tomcat server with all of its prerequisites. So from this product page, simply click on continue to subscribe. After that, you would be brought to this subscription page from where you need to click on accept terms and then wait for the subscription validation process to complete before continuing. Once the subscription validation is done, you need to click on continue to configuration. After that, you would be brought to this page from where you can choose the AMI, the software version and the region where you want to deploy your virtual machine. So once you're satisfied with the settings, simply click on continue to launch. After that, you will be brought to this page from where you can choose to launch the EC2 virtual machine from either this website or from the EC2 management console. So what I like to do is that I like to change it from website to EC2 and then click on launch. Now this is going to open up the EC2 management console in a new tab. Now in this tab, you can customize your virtual machine. So give your virtual machine a deployment name. So I'm going to call mine as Apache. After that, scroll down and make sure that the image is the one that you got from the link in the description box. After that, scroll down and choose the instance type according to your requirements. And then choose a key pair by either creating a new one or by choosing an already existing one. Remember that this is the key pair that you would be using to connect to the RDP connection of our virtual machine. Once that is done, you can leave the network settings as default and then when you're satisfied with the settings, simply click on launch instance to actually deploy this virtual machine. So wait for the deployment process to complete. Now once the deployment process is done, the next step is to connect to our virtual machine using an RDP connection. So for that, simply click on view all instances. And here you can see that our newly created virtual machine is still in the pending state. So wait for a few moments for it to change its state from pending to running. Now once the machine is in the running state, simply right click on it and then choose connect and then head over to the RDP client tab. Now in this tab, we can see that we have the public DNS, the username, but we do not have the password. So simply click on get password and then it is going to ask you for a few moments. Now once that time has been passed, you would be able to access this page which asks you for your key pair and then it is going to give you your password. So simply click on browse and browse to your key pair. After that, simply click on decrypt password and you can see that now you have the password as well. Now to connect to this virtual machine, simply hit windows and type in remote desktop connection and then simply copy this public DNS and paste it in front of this computer field and then click on show options. Copy the username, paste it in front of the username and then click on connect. After that, you would be prompted to type in the password. So copy this password and then paste it in the password field and then hit on OK. After that, it is going to ask you that you're trying to connect to a remote host. So if you want to continue, simply click on yes and then wait for the connection to be fully established. Now, once the connection has been fully established, you also need to wait for the Windows Server 2019 to completely load. Now, once the Windows Server has completely loaded, the next step is to actually access the Tomcat Apache server. Now to access this, simply click on this desktop icon that says Tomcat. Now for your information, this Tomcat Apache server runs on localhost port number 8080. So if you want to access it from some other browser, then you can simply go to localhost and the port number 8080. Now you can see that the Apache Tomcat server is running perfectly. However, I cannot access the manager app or the host manager or any admin site portal. That is because I have not created a user that has the roles to access it. Even if I try clicking on it, it is going to ask me for the credentials to access that manager or admin portal. But currently I do not have those credentials. So, so the next step is going to be to create users for the Apache Tomcat. Now to do this, the very first step is going to turn off the service of Apache. So I'm going to exit from this Internet Explorer, hit Windows and type in Services. And then I'm going to open up this Services Administrative Tool. In here, what you want to do is that you want to look for Apache Tomcat and your version, which is going to be 9, and you want to right click on it and then stop its service. Now, once the service has been stopped, the next step is to actually head inside the configuration file and manually add a new user and give it a role. So minimize this Services tab because we're going to need it again. Open up the file explorer, click on this PC, head inside the C drive, head inside Tomcat and then Tomcat Apache version 9 and then configuration folder and in here you can see this Tomcat-users XML file. So right click on it and click on open with notepad. 
Now in here we can add in the credentials for our user and give it a specific role. So the very first thing is going to be removing this comment sections. So by removing these two lines we have uncommented this whole section out. Now I am going to add two different kind of roles the manager role and the admin role and give it all kind of variations. So I am going to copy this line and paste it a few more times. Now if you are unclear about these roles then you can head inside the link in the description box which would take you to the step by step blog post guide on how to set up Apache Tomcat server on AWS. So the very first role is going to be the manager script. After that it is going to be the manager status. After that we are going to add in the manager GUI which would give it access to the manager portal. After that we are going to add in a role known as manager space or hyphen JMX. After that we are going to type in admin GUI which would give it the access to the admin portal and then admin script. After that we want to create a user credential. So I don't need three users so I am going to remove these two lines and then I am going to create an only single user with the username admin and the password admin as well. Now here is the most important step. The rules that I want to assign to this particular user. So I want to give it admin GUI and the manager GUI which is going to give it access to the manager app and the admin app. So now I can simply exit this configuration file and save it. Once that is done, I need to rerun the service of Apache. So open up the services, right click on Apache and click on start. Now once the Apache Tomcat server is running, I can open up the Tomcat server. So simply open up the Tomcat server from the desktop and then access the manager app, the server status or host manager. And then you can use the newly created user credentials which were admin and admin. And then click on OK and just like that we were able to access the Tomcat web application manager. Anyways that brings us to the end of this tutorial. Now if you have any queries regarding this tutorial, make sure to leave that query in the comment section down below and we will get to you as soon as possible. And make sure to check out the links in the description box for the marketplace listing for Amazon Web Services and also for the step by step blog post guide on how to set up Apache Tomcat server on Amazon Web Services. And finally if this video has helped you in any way, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.